Doctors at the College Station Med's neonatal intensive care unit are used to celebrating babies' big milestones, but today the tables were turned and the NICU was celebrating a pretty big milestone itself. It turned 10. News 3's Whitney Miller joins us now live in the News Center. Whitney, a lot of superhero costumes out there today. There were, Kristen. I saw everyone from Captain America to Batman dressed up for the party. The nurses say it's the kids who are the heroes, but many families say it's the nurses who deserve that title. I go play all the games and I go to the bounce houses. Happy, healthy, and active today. Six-year-old Madison Capehart has come a long way. She was born 30 days early, and because she couldn't keep her temperature up, Madison had to spend some time in the NICU. Her mother, Tracy, says she was terrified. She got all these tubes and wires and, and IVs and stuff. Well, we didn't, we had no idea what to think. They came and they sent anybody they needed to to come talk to us, um, you know, and made sure that we, we knew that she was okay. Was and that's exactly why the K-Parts came back Sunday to say thank you and celebrate with the nurses who cared for Madison, hero style. So actually, one of our NICU nurses came up with a theme. Our babies that are the heroes. You know, they start off struggling in life, and now it's great to see them um, grown and thriving and doing so well. Big heroes let some little heroes try on their armor and check out their hero mobiles. Other little heroes played games and munched on popcorn made by those who cared for them once before. Well, the families develop a really strong relationship to the nurses. We have some nurses that have been here a really long time, um, and they're knowledgeable, and they help families feel at ease. And Tracy Capehart agrees. They are our superheroes for sure. There's a special bond when you're in a NICU, when you're a NICU baby. There's a, a bond because not everybody goes through that. So when you do, it's like, you know, it's just special with the nurses and the other families. Now, the College Station Med NICU was the first third-level NICU in Bryan College Station. Every year, the facility hosts a reunion for the babies who began their lives in their care. But this year, it was extra special since they were celebrating 10 years. For now, live in the News Center, Whitney Miller, News 3. A lot, lot of fun to be had out there today. Yes, Whitney, a lot of fun. thanks.